wanted to share my idea for my variant on a helical coupler. Uh, I am putting an encoder onto the spindle of my CNC machine so the software can measure the speed of the spindle. And I needed a way to attach the shaft of the encoder to part of the gear train inside the head of the milling machine without doing it in a rigidly coupled fashion. So montage sequence, go. Well, I'm sure George Papard approves. You can see the encoder is attached to my little makeshift coupler here, uh, and the other end of the coupler is attached to one of the gears of the drivetrain. Now I'm just running the spindle uh, under computer control, uh, first at a slow, slow speed, and I'm gonna speed it up. The coupler's purpose in life here is to help with uh, any eccentricities, basically. It's really hard to get the shaft of the encoder and the drivetrain perfectly concentric. So the coupler has some give to it, and that hopefully will save the bearings inside of the encoder. So what I'm showing here is actually uh, EMC plotting the computed velocity coming off of that sensor. Uh, I have this connected to a Mesa FPGA card, and that has a nice encoder module which automatically reads the quadrature coming off of this sensor and computes a velocity for you without having to do any work. Now it's not currently scaled to anything like RPM, it's just arbitrary values. Finally here's a close-up of the coupler working. Uh, it doesn't seem to be perfect. Uh, there seem to be some resonances where you can actually see the clip lead that's in the shot uh, and the whole sensor vibrating. And it's hard to say if this is due to my shaky little uh, magnetic mount that I'm using to hold the encoder or uh, if it's really problems with my uh, coupler design. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.